Good evening, and welcome to my bar. You're looking positively chipper this evening. Now what is it you fancy? Something strong? No. Something fruity, perhaps? Oh, how about something sweet and creamy? Ah, good. A fan of mint? Excellent. I would have to suggest the grasshopper, then. I'll just make one for you now. You'll need a standard cocktail glass. Place ice into your cocktail shaker. Now add a single measure each of creme de menthe, creme de cacao, the white kind or you'll ruin the colour, and fresh cream. Now you're going to need to shake that vigorously. And strain it into the glass. Now I hope that's what you were looking for. Ah, minty. Now some might look down on a drink with such a lurid tone, but I think it adds character. It's one of my favourites, actually. It might seem a bit fresher on the scene, having gained popularity in the 50s and 60s, but it was purportedly invented during Prohibition, at Two Aggies. I do hope I've pronounced that correctly. The owner, Philip Guichet, entered a cocktail-making competition in New York and came second with this minty mix. The first records of it date to 1919, so it may have escaped Prohibition after all, to make its way back to his bar in New Orleans. The two alcoholic ingredients are both low in percentage at around 25% alcohol by volume, or 50 proof. This means it has often been popular with a younger crowd trying cocktails for the first time. The fact that it tastes like mint choc chip One of my favourite flavours of ice cream probably doesn't hurt either. That's not to say the drink doesn't have older fans. People who are young when it first became popular likely enjoy it for the wistful memories it conjures as much as that sweet, ice creamy flavour. Now, what do you think of it? It is very silky due to all that cream, isn't it? And it definitely tastes of ice cream. Easy to drink one too many, I'd say. And you'd have fun doing so. I'm not sure that I can drink that many in a row, though. They are, after all, quite sweet. Oh, is that the time? Well, of course. I will see you next time I take it. And don't forget to always drink responsibly. Dr. Wilco's Campaign for Better Beverages is a production of Tinker Tailor Soldier Sponge Productions. It was researched, written, and produced by Dr. Wilco. The cocktail was mixed live and drunk by Dr. Wilco. The music was George Street Shuffle, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3 by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. You can now support this podcast on Patreon via the show notes and the website, drwilco.org forward slash Patreon.